Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark Sickles, House Democratic Caucus Chair. It's 10.30, the appointed hour, so I want to thank my uh, House and Senate colleagues for being part of this voting rights press conference and the members of the media who are here to cover this important issue. After these brief introductory remarks, I will turn things over to my colleagues who will speak to specific bills. At the conclusion, we will open things up for questions, and I will assume a role of traffic cop if you have questions. And um, and uh, uh, my friend Joe Morrissey, who's been commenting and following uh, these issues closely, may uh, have an answer to some of your questions as well. Um, Democrats and Republicans in the General Assembly share common motivations for serving in public life. We want to fix problems and improve the quality of our respective communities in the Commonwealth. In 2012, the election exposed a major flaws in our voting system. Um, in the world's largest economy, in the, the world's only surviving superpower, we could not run an election. Uh, there were countless stories of confusion, long lines, four and five hours, delays at the polls, I personally worked at uh, local precincts in my district, encouraging people to stay in line, assisting seniors who were forced to stand on their feet for hours and answering a myriad of questions that voters had. Uh, but both Democrats and Republicans arrived here uh, in January with an urgent mandate to make real change and to improve our democracy. At the beginning of this legislative session, we saw bipartisan common sense bills that would address some of these problems that we faced last November. Republican Delegate Danny Marshall patroned a bill to allow seniors over the age of 65 to vote with an, with, without having an excuse. Republican Ron Villanueva patroned a bill to allow no, no excuse in-person absentee voting for all qualified Virginia voters. Uh, Governor McDonald himself endorsed the restoration of voting rights in, the state of, in his State of the Commonwealth Address and Republican delegates Greg Habib and Peter Farrell put forward constitutional amendments to do so. Yet, we're on a path to leave this legislative session at the end of this week having created more obstacles and making voting more difficult for hundreds of thousands of qualified Virginia voters while achieving zero real reforms. This is highly unfortunate, and that's why we're here today. We have a solemn choice to make in the next few days about the type of democracy we want to have in the Commonwealth uh, Senator Openshane's bills will increase barriers, create more roadblocks to voting. These bills are wrong for Virginia. I hope my Republican colleagues will do the right thing for our seniors, students, working people, and vote no. Uh, thank you for your time.